Hey, what's up? My name is Travis and this is Dev Tips. Today we're going to be using Webflow to control the style of dynamically generated content inside the tool. Last week I said that I'd be giving away a fresh subscription to Webflow Pro and this is a $420 value. This week it goes to Riley Jones. I sent an email to Riley earlier today. I have another Webflow Pro account to give away at the end of this video so stay tuned to find out how that can be yours, but first let's look at what we've done so far and then take a look at what we need to be doing in the next 20 minutes of this video. Okay, so in this episode, I'm gonna try to get this list that I have going on here to have two things. Number one, I want this, I want this, oh, actually look at this, this is backwards, 89, 90, 91, 92. So this, so, okay, three things. <laughs> uh, 92 needs to be at top and it needs to have an addition of the show notes. Now, 90, uh, you know, the other ones <laughs> need to be below it and they have to alternate this border color. Okay, so, so three things. Reverse the order of listing, feature this one, and alternate the color of the border. Uh, first things first, let's do a reversing of the feature. So I'm clicking on the episode list and all of these episode lists, if you go over to the gear here, uh, you can like find different things. And uh, this is what I was hoping to see. Okay, filters. You can filter by episode number, filter by episode number equals 89. Okay, so that this will only show if it's episode is 89, not what I wanted. How about, okay, sort order, oh, yeah, so I wanna reverse the order, large to smallest episode number. Episode number, yes, episode number, smallest to largest. I wanna do largest to smallest, counting down. Okay, so there we go. Task number one, <laughs> done. Episode 92, 91, 90. Okay, now I want to change the color of the alternating versions here to this really nice green color. I don't think it can, but I do know that it can do another thing. So what I want to do is go over here into the um, exported code and grab episode list, okay, episode item, and then what is the thing with the border is episode inner wrap. So episode item, and then my CSS will be like nth child odd episode inner wrap. Okay, so let's close this and do a site settings custom code, and then write a style tag in the header. Style, okay. Uh, oh, what was it? Episode item, I think it was episode item. Uh, nth child odd. Um, yeah, we, we wanna turn the, no, the even ones um, green. Episode item and child even, and then it's like episode inner wrap, I think. <laughs> and that's our CSS selector. And that will say every other one of these, find this and turn it green. I'll say border color. So I end up having no a right CSS anyway. No big D, no big D. Border color that. Let's save and see if um, the this works. Go to designer. No. Preview doesn't show me what I want to see. I have I have a, a weird feeling that this designer only shows me the things that I'm 
able to edit, right? It's like when I look at this um, publish, it doesn't show me the things that are in the head, which is kind of annoying. But let me try to this. Let me publish this and then check it out. And I wonder if the head stuff will show up after it's been published. Okay, um, hey Webflow, that's not great, but like I'm glad I figured it out and I wasn't banging my head against the wall for a long time. But but that's good, it worked. But also, come on, it could have worked a little bit better than that. But this is good, it worked. This I feel like this is too too much border here. Let's say five. Yeah. You only need some five, bruh. Okay. Um what was the other thing? We want to reverse the order, make the alternating border. Okay, this, the featured episode. The featured episode looks like this. It's basically the same thing with this purple border, except for there's an extension on it to get it. Here's what I'm thinking. Here is what I'm thinking. I'm going to drag another dynamic list up here. And choose the same collection. Actually, I'll just um, I'll just duplicate this thing, right? And duplicate. So I'll have two of these episode lists. Okay, okay, okay. And then for this episode list. Press up to get the dynamic item. This episode list, you can limit them. Limit, limit items. Limit to one. So that's how I'm gonna get this featured one. And on this one, um, on this particular episode list, I'm gonna make it different. I'm gonna enter a rich text. I really hope this works. Show notes. <sighs> yes, okay, yes, yes. And then add a class. Uh, episode, episode, show notes. And then, mm, and then turn the like background into this color, right? What color is this? The purple, the purple. Um. <laughs> and the color, you know, the color white. FFF. Am I doing it? Why is that not working? Why is this? gray Oh, I think I know why. It's because it's a paragraph, right? And paragraphs are gray, but we need to be more specific. A par so how do you add how do you make complex selectors? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, whether the padding here was pretty pretty heavy. Let's see what we got here. Padding is gonna be like 7535. Padding like 35. Okay. And 35. And I think it was 75. This is good. Okay, this is good, but still, like, can I learn how to? I'm gonna. I need to learn how to turn this white. But um, the other thing I need to do is get rid of this episode since it's like right above it in this other thing here. So. Let me go up to this dynamic list, the episode list, and do the limiting again. But instead, this time we're starting at two. 
So I think we got this. I think we got this. I mean, kind of. Why? I don't know why it's... This is not... Uh, I can't turn this text white. A nested global selector. How to activate global selectors. Style tab. Okay, I think I figured it out and it's a little fiddly, but let me show you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go in and drag out another rich text um, block here, but I'm not gonna put it inside of this dynamic item. I'm gonna put it just in a regular, you know, outside of it. And when it's outside of it and it's not connected to any data, I can go in and click these different paragraphs and H2s, right, and H4s. So you notice that these H2s are getting the styling of this regular H2 block that I styled a while ago. And um, this is how, it's kind of hard, but this is how Webflow does um, like nested tags and like, you know, select the children of kind of thing. So I'm gonna press up so I can get the parent, which is the rich text block. And I'm gonna add the class of notes, um, episode show notes and it's going to turn purple because this episode show notes class has like a purple background right here and that's all well and good but now I can still I can still click that paragraph and here's here's the bit that kind of will you have to really pay attention to so I have the class um, episode show notes on this block and I'm clicking in and getting the paragraph tag I'm gonna select the paragraphs and then this little um, kind of control shows up when you're inside of a rich text block and if you press plus right here it will nest this selector so it'll select all the paragraphs inside of episode show notes so I'm gonna press that and I have this like double selector or child selector and now I'm selecting the paragraphs that are not outside of the rich text text block, or in other words, outside of the show notes, but inside. And I'm gonna turn these white. Okay, now that paragraph is white and it's inside of episode show notes. Show notes. If I scroll down, that episode show notes also has the paragraphs inside turning white. And I wanna make their, um, their font go to 18. Looks good, looks good. Um, there's probably more I have to do in here. I'm just gonna turn all of these white, I guess. Because maybe like later, later on somebody will make a heading and it'll be all purple. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. So I can delete this um, block because I've just, I've just used it for styling. It's not a part of my layout and the, you know, the white st t stuff stays there. Okay, so Recent episodes, dun, 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 playing. This looks good. Okay, I probably still have some work to do to make this all look good for mobile. Let's just take a look here. This looks all right. That's eh, passing, <laughs> it's okay. Getting a little long in the tooth here, but that's passing. Okay, this is becoming a little hard to deal with. When I'm in, uh, what is this, mobile landscape, let's take this episode thumb and make it max with uh, a lot smaller. Let's just do 100. Okay. So these will all be 100. And let's make this not as big. This uh, headline 24. Episode number 24. And this is when, let's get the margin bottom a little shorter too. Oh. half it okay so all 
Our, uh, the, the player embeds are already um, responsive, so they just kind of shorten up a little bit right there. And I need to get make the padding on this thing go down to, um, if you hold uh, option and drag, they get shorter together, like it constrains both sides. Let's do 35. Okay. So when we're in tablet, it looks like this still. And then mobile looks good. Now let's see this on the phone. Okay, well, actually, yeah. Let's look at this here. Um, one thing that needs to happen is this container needs to lose its sides bring this down to like maybe 20 and then this needs to select a class the h2 needs to lose its um outdent of the text right here so let's go to speed to zero okay and then also it can lose some size Um, let's make it uh, 28. Let's see if that's good. Line height. Line height should be um, two. No, one. No, one point four. Yeah. And the lorem. I'm just making this all kind of like condense a little bit more. It doesn't need to be 16 tall. 14 is good. And good. Okay. This looks much better. Okay, in, in the case of the phone, I think for the landscape, this is still okay, lock up. But in the case of the phone let, uh, portrait, let's take this episode inner wrap and remove the flex from it. And this thing can be centered. and give it some padding or margin bottom. Let's say 20, because how much does it have on the top, 10? 10, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I like that, okay. Now it's like just that quick, it's like responsive. <laughs> I like it. Okay, I, I think that we're in a good place. Thank you to Webflow Pro for supporting this series and thank you for watching. Now, if you want to find out how that you can receive, you can be the lucky winner of the Webflow Pro for a year account, that's a $420 value, then you have to do two, three things. Number one is, what is it? Be a subscriber of the channel. Number two is leave a comment down below. And number three, there is a link in the description of this video to a Google form. You just fill out that form, it's just your name and your email address so I can know where to send it to. Also, if you are pumped about web development and want to meet more people who are just as pumped as you, we have a, a little community of tight-knit, awesome people over at patreon.com slash devtips. So go, go over there and check it out. See if, it's, see if it's what you're looking for. And that's it for tonight. I have to go edit this all now. It's Sunday night. This goes out in like eight hours. And I have to go edit it put it out for you so you can watch it. That sounds like a fun night to me. Hey, keep on hacking.